Hey y'all, welcome back to Poplar Creek Farm. So I did a whole video checking my bees a little bit ago and my mic had turned off. So the majority of the video has zero uh, volume. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kinda insert that footage here. And then now we are going to do the rest of the projects that I had planned for today. So we have a large list of spring projects, um, some of which we probably could have taken a chill pill on, knowing now that our, the piglets that we are buying aren't even born yet. Um, we were kind of trying to get the pigs ready, ASAP, the pig area ready. Um, but now we're probably not going to get them to like May, end of May, maybe even early June, um, which is fine. It just gives us more time to get ready. Um, but because of that, we were trying to get all these projects done. Now I'm kind of backtracking and trying to get some projects done that uh, I kind of actually need done sooner now. Um, but it's okay. We have a lot of projects to do this spring regardless. So we've got landscaping to do, a ton of landscaping. Um, obviously the garden is gigantic. And we had to put a new garden gate up because we moved our garden. So this is kind of the stuff we're working on now. Um, I have two cranberry bushes that are inside my garden. They are literally in where I tilled, and I just didn't move them at that point because they had been eaten down to nubs. Uh, they were, deer had really enjoyed them. Um, I'll show you guys that. And because of that, I'm keeping them in the garden area, um, the fenced area. I'm also keeping my blueberries in here. Uh, we are getting a bunch more blueberries. We're getting a bunch of elderberries, which the elderberries I think I'll pull out because um, they get pretty big. But everything else I'm going to try to keep in the fenced area as much as possible um, just so that the deer do not eat them up because they like to. So it's hard to tell. We can kind of see the posts over there where the garden fence is. Um, but the garden's pretty big. I think I ended up measuring it out. So I ended up using, I think it was 10 rolls of 50 foot fencing. Um, so it's about, it was like, I think... 12 to 15,000 square feet depending on I mean it's a little bit in from the actual fencing um, where we actually tilled because we want to be able to mow around inside the fencing too um, and again this is kind of where that's where the blueberries will go that's where uh, the, these cranberries will go is on the grassy area but it's still it's a, it's a big garden it's a pretty darn big garden um, it's looking I mean it, the cover crop from the spring or from the fall is looking amazing um, we planted rye. The rye is pretty much what survived winter. Um, but it looks good. And we will till this and put compost down um, in the next probably month and a half or so. Here's my little garden helper with white on. Why do you have a bathing suit top on? Ay, ay, ay. All right. Well, there's two cranberry bushes that I'm going to be moving. This is one of them. Now I got these from Runnings last fall. And they were gorgeous. They were really big. 
we marked them so we didn't mow them over, but they were really big and beautiful. Um, and I expected them to probably produce soon. Um, but then the deer snacked on them quite a bit, ate it down probably about half of the foliage size that it was. Um, they ate down. So I didn't want to move it in the, in the fall. It was, it was kind of late to be moving it. So I didn't want to move it then. So that's why I'm moving it now. Oh. It is it's starting to get some little buds, so it should be flowering soon. Um, I'm just gonna move it over to where, to by the fence, move both of them. And I think they'll be better oh, yeah. suited over there. Move the raspberry bushes. I'm tired. I just got those two cranberry bushes moved. It was a little more labor intensive than I expected. The roots were really down deep and so it was really hard getting them up. Um, got a little muddy. It's just a little muddy carrying things. <laughs> but whatever, it is what it is. Oh, I love being able to play in the dirt. I love being able to check my bees. It's spring, almost, sort of. I know this is Fall spring number like 10 for New York. We're gonna get cold snap again. We'll probably get snow again, but I will fully enjoy this warmth while we do have it. Let me tell you guys about real quick about what happened with my bee inspections, with my hive inspections. Um, I didn't do a full hive inspection. I didn't pull out frames or anything. I was more just checking to see if they had pollen and sugar patties. Um, and they, most of them have either eaten all or at least the majority of their pollen patties. They're, it was one that didn't have any um, and there was the other ones all had like little bits so I gave them all more pollen patties I gave them all more sugar bricks this will probably be the last of the sugar bricks or close to the last of the sugar bricks because um, April is when we start moving into actual sugar water um, and frame feeders and things and I don't necessarily do that on my established hives unless I feel like I need to um, but I will do it on the splits I did order queens for my splits. So I ordered five queens total. One is coming mid-April, um, and that is for my kids' presentation for their school on Earth Day. I'm doing a presentation at their school um, on Earth Day about bees and everything, and I wanted to make sure I had a queen for that split because it'll be early for me to be, it would be too early for me to be splitting as a walkaway split and hoping, hi bee, I'm hoping that there were, you know, a mated queen at that point or a queen viable. Um, so I did order a queen for that, and then I also ordered four queens, four because it's cheaper if you order more than three um, per queen, it's a little bit cheaper. So I ordered four to add to my split. So I'll have five queens total that I can add to splits. Uh, so five of my hives should be able to really take off quickly um, and get established very quick and have a good honey harvest. Whereas the other ones, the, the walkway splits, they'll still be a slower start, which is fine. Um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with walkway splits. I know that they, I know they're strong enough to make it to winter. That's what I had this year, and they made it through most of them. Um, that one that didn't make it through was kind of my own fault. So I'm not worried about it. So I'm excited. I can't wait to keep sharing, you know, be keeping videos with you. I'll be sharing a lot in the next few months um, because springtime is kind of when I'm in my hives the most. I'm checking for mites. I'm checking for making sure that they've got queens, that they're building up, that they're ready for the honey flows, um, the nectar flows of summer. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, we're growing today for a better tomorrow. Please like and subscribe and join me on the next one.